morning, brethren, sistren. <laughs> Guess who just happens to be my eighth cousin three times removed? The guy who played Leroy on Fame? <laughs> oh, my bad. He's got at least two feet on you. <laughs> now, I was fooling around on this genealogy website, and I found out that the very blood running through my veins is the same as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's right. <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? The information highway is gridlock? <laughs> means that I am descended from greatness, destined to be an activist. I'm picking up the torch of civil liberties and lighting the way for my oppressed peoples. That's, that's y'all. <laughs> well, Dwayne, you gonna lift us up all from your mama's basement. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Frank's on. That old gas bag's the only thing standing between me and the lead sports anchor position. And one final thought. To all my fans who have been so supportive over the last 20 years, I bid you farewell. You see, the alien spoke to me through my navel last night, and this reporter's been chosen to mate with her queen. So until the next millennium... <laughs> I'm coming, Queen Tulipi. Poor guy. I hope he's all right. But, on the brighter side, I'm in there! I'm moving on up like George Jefferson. Say what? Say what? Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself But I have a partner But I can't turn no one in uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh -huh. oh, yeah. I'll be there to think of them What a true love we are Baby, you can one 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 Can't nobody break this bond You're one on one Now we have a Good morning, boss, and it is a good morning. <laughs> Undip me, you dip. <laughs> Just had to ship Frank off to the Sweet Dream Sanitarium, and trust me, it's not a very sweet place. Anyway, Frank is gone. I'm here. Give me the job. <laughs> Flex, it's not my choice. The station manager wants to see some other people as well. This is blatant racism. I'll have you know that I'm a close personal friend of a man who's distantly related to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. <laughs> Stacy, love. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. But then again, I figured, who else she gonna interview? <laughs> Flex, you know Red Galloway from Channel 14. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Up, <laughs> the man who exposed the use of steroids in figure skating? Please, that wasn't news. That Romanian girl did a victory lap holding her coach over her head. <laughs> You know, Flex, envy green is such an ugly color on you. But then again, so is that shirt, bro. Ooh, if we're talking about clothes, shouldn't you return those shoes to the Bolarama? Uh, Red, wait for me in my office, please. And by the way, sending me flowers, pretty transparent. Lucky for you, I like my butt kissed. <laughs> Stacy, I have paid my dues at this station. I shouldn't have to kiss your butt for this job. Although I'd be happy to visit it on my own free time. <laughs> Look, Flex, the higher-ups want someone who will go the extra mile to get the story. You saying I have to audition? Yes. You and Red have a week to come back with a hot story. Best one gets the job. I should quit. <laughs> I should do a lot of other things, too. Good day. Girl, I know you got the part of Catherine. That's Tori Spelling thing you did with your hair, girl. Amazing! Girl, no, you're the amazing one. You did it all with real hair. Attention! I've made my decisions for Shakespeare night. The selected scenes from The Taming of the Shrew. If you didn't get the part you wanted, get used to it. That's showbiz. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it! I got the part of Petruchio. But aren't as you were the only guy who tried out? Yeah, but that girl from the field hockey team was really good. <laughs> Congratulations, Brianna. You got the part of Catherine. Oh, really? Oh, I... It's cool. It, it, it's no big deal. The hell is not? I need to kiss you. Well, I'm your understudy. Which is almost worse than not getting a part. No, being an understudy is, is, is awesome. See, you get all the fun. Mm -hmm. While I get all the pressure. Who's the lucky one here? <laughs> Thanks. 
Come here. Uh, come here. I guess I'll see you guys later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it may not be, and it cannot be. Let me entreat you. Wait, hold up. I mean, who talks like this? What does entreat you mean? Uh, I think it means we kiss. <laughs> uh uh. Understudy? Oh, man. Mm. Uh, uh. <laughs> Y'all call that acting? Spirit, if you're gonna be my understudy, you have to kiss with a little more feeling. Yeah, so you're right. Come on, let's show her how we do it. Go away. <laughs> Daddy, this is a closed rehearsal. Uh, Brianna, the only thing I want to see closed is your mouth. <laughs> well, maybe we should rehearse in my house. Yeah. Nah, you know what? I'm all shakespeare out. Y'all go without me. Okay. Oh, and Arnaz, uh, can you try to say your lines without spitting on people? Thank you. <laughs> Lydia, I'm, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. I'm just in a bad mood. They're making me audition for the lead sports anchor position. I shouldn't have to prove myself. I am more seasoned than a... A, a Jeffrey Dahmer dinner guest. Same here. I mean, what's wrong with the world? They don't know who we be. They ain't know. Black boys and black girl, I have been to the promised land. Ooh, was Tupac there? Did you know we have a Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in this very town? So does any town with more than 20 black people. But my cousin needs a more substantial tribute. That's why I give you the Harbor Tunnel. Makes sense. Harry Tubman had a railroad. Precisely. That's why I propose renaming said tunnel the Martin Luther King Jr. Tunnel of Enlightenment. <laughs> I must leave now so as to hasten my mission. I will see you at the mountaintop. Good luck, bro. We shall overcome, dog. We shall overcome. Ma'am, I don't care if he is gay. Those are not the kind of stories we do here at WYNX. Who's gay? And how soon can we get her on the air? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, this is a news station, not Gossip Hour at Aunt Clara's Press and Weave. Man, you can learn a lot of good stuff at a beauty salon. That's where I found out a certain New York shortstop has more illegitimate kids than Sean Kemp. You don't have any standards, do you? And you don't have any Emmys, do you? No, but I have an employee of the month. <laughs> Yeah, it's red. Look, uh, 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 I don't want to hear that crap. Look, just get me something juicy on one of your buddies. Or my next report is going to read, star college athlete exposed for illegally accepting money from alumni loses promise in NBA future. I know it's too long for a headline, Lou Grant. <laughs> just give me the information. Stacy. What if I told you that Red was using sleazy tactics to get a story? Really? Mm -hmm. Then I'd say the only job he's eligible for here is lead sports anchor. <laughs> okay. I'll get low down and dirty. <laughs> Hope this doesn't keep me out of heaven. <laughs> whispering about I'm saving my voice it's a trick us stars do me Celine Diana will miss Ross to you but what do you want I've rewritten the play it needed a little punching and updating but you can't rewrite Shakespeare you're not even in the 10th grade don't think of it as a rewrite think of it as a remix <laughs> I gave Big Willie Chase some flavor. Look, I don't think this is a good idea. Honey, your job is to understudy, not think. Now run along and pass those out. She's out of control. The girl has rewritten Shakespeare. Did she cut the kiss? Oh, oh I'm still in there. Oh, thank God. Please take your marks for the beginning of rehearsal. 
Let's start with the wedding scene between Petruchio and Catherine. Um, Arnez and Brianna, are you ready? <laughs> Catherine, or should I say Special K? I'll buy you Versace and Prada new. So love me too, because this thug needs a shrew. I love you, boo. But I need a bands too. I know that I'm the finest in the nation. <laughs> but I can't deal with all this hateration. What was that? <laughs> I just made a few changes in the play. Just keeping it real. Well, well how about just keeping it Shakespeare? <laughs> you know, everything the man wrote wasn't gold. Was he a personal friend? <laughs> Is there anyone here who can explain Catherine's character and her motivation? The non-Tupac version. <laughs> Catherine's misunderstood. She's a strong woman, but everybody thinks she's just a bitter shriek. Actually, she's a sensitive soul who's always been second to her sister in her father's eyes. It's obvious you fully understand Catherine's character. Spirit, you take over the role of Catherine. Brianna will be your understudy. That's how I keep it real. <laughs> Brianna will be who? My understudy. <laughs> now, run along, Miss Ross. <laughs>
can't do this out of my way. I'm bouncing. Spirit, you can do this. You know this part better than Dr. Gibbs, and she used to date Shakespeare. I can't go out there with all those people looking at me. But you've done plays before. I was a munchkin in the Wiz and a tumbleweed in Oklahoma. <laughs> we have never been the lead. What? Wait a minute. When did I start speaking to you? Spirit, I've been watching you rehearse. You're a great actress. I know you're gonna go out there and be amazing. You really get this Shakespeare stuff. I'm scared. Don't. I'll be right here in the wings if you need me. Go ahead, girl. Break a leg. Come, sit on me. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women are made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you, if me, you mean. Alas, good Kate, I will not burden thee, for knowing thee to be but young and light. Too light for such a swain as you to catch, and yet as heavy as my weight should be. They're undefeated on the field, but Baltimore State's football team takes an academic beating, which, strangely enough, does not show up in any NCAA records. We'll see you guys on the sideline. If you can read the directions to the next game. <laughs> this is Red Galloway, reminding you that if Red Galloway isn't on your TV, then your TV probably ain't really on. And we're clear. Red, that was a fabulous audition. Well, Red Galloway does not disappoint. <laughs> Remember that when you're eating soup for one on Saturday night, baby. <laughs> so what happened to Flip? Well, if you mean Flex, I guess he's a no-show. Maybe he just isn't hungry. Oh, no. Flex is hungry. <laughs> In fact, he's hungry for some red pie. <laughs> I got a little surprise for you. Red, you remember Ishmael Porter, don't you? You don't know who you're dealing with, kid. You don't want this to get ugly. Uh, looked in the mirror lately? Too late. <laughs> Good evening, Baltimore. This is Flex Washington, and tonight I'm joined by B State's star point guard, Ishmael Porter. Ishmael, it's come to my attention that you've been involved in accepting money from B State's Booster Club. Yeah, I, I accepted money to help my family. But you realize NCAA rules prohibit student athletes from accepting money. I know that. And I was wrong. I got in over my head, and then someone started blackmailing me. Oh, really? <laughs> Would it be that man? <laughs> the man known as Red Galloway? <laughs> he lied! <laughs> then who did I witness blackmailing Ishmael in a dark, dank alley? I wouldn't know, because I wasn't there. Yeah, but yeah, well, I got a good friend and a man in the dumpster who could prove you wrong. <laughs> so tell me, Ishmael, what made you come forward? Well, you cornered me in that alley. After and... that, after that. <laughs> well, it was one thing accepting money. But when Red had me dropping dime on my friends, it, it wasn't cool. So what are you going to do now, Ishmael? Well, maybe DeVry might be starting a basketball team. <laughs> well, I, I wish you luck, Ishmael. <laughs> this is Flex Washington saying, keep your noses clean, Baltimore, or I have to wipe them. <laughs> like that? And we're clear. Yo, you cannot do this to me. Man, I'm Red Galloway. I'm the one that... You are leaving. Flex beat you, Red. Better luck next time. You heard the lady. Get to stepping, and we're not validating your parking, either. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you what. You may not like what I do, but you'll never beat me to a story. Or oh, in bowling, either. Why are you wearing those shoes again? <laughs> hey, Ishmael, look, if you need me to say anything to the disciplinary committee, just let me know, man. Hey, thanks, Flex. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders and I can start over. By the way, for $50, I can tell you all about the athletic director. Uh, bro, uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Force of habit. Lex, congratulations. You are the new lead sports anchor. And we're gonna run this story on Live at Five. <laughs> oh, well, I'm very pleased. And thanks for the opportunity, but, uh... I have to get back to you with my answer. You are kidding, right? Oh, you know it, baby! <laughs> I'm the man, I'm the man, the sports anchor. <laughs> Mr. Untouchable, 
you can't push me around any more. <laughs> yes, but I'm still your boss. <laughs> I can work with that. <laughs>
Come on, Dwayne. Oh, this is gonna be so great. <laughs> I hope you like Cinnabon. <laughs> to have fun antiquing. <laughs> Can you say Nirvana? <laughs> well, it sounds like we all had the perfect day. What did you do, baby? Absolutely nothing. In my underwear. <laughs> Can you say Nirvana? <laughs> <laughs> so, baby, are you ready to go to dinner? Yep. Dwayne, I had a wonderful time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> What's tomorrow? Nat needs help planting azaleas on her balcony. Unless you want to help me, Flex. Oh, no. Uh, I, I mean, you know, you need a green thumb to garden. Uh, I, I, mine's black. <laughs> but I'll come by and admire your azaleas later. <laughs> this is sweet. We make a great team. We do, don't we? Yeah, yeah, us, us too. <laughs> For the last time, can y'all please turn this music down? I'm trying to watch the game. Oh, pizza. <laughs> Which color do you like best? Passion fusion or fusion passion? Uh, which everyone doesn't smell like a uh, dumpster. <laughs> Thanks for ruining my appetite. Oh, Daddy, are we bothering you? <sighs> my head hasn't hurt this bad since your mother said I do. <laughs> I'm going across the hall to your Uncle Dwayne's. If somebody choked or there's a fire, your grandma's phone number is on the fridge. Wait, are you sure you want to go? We're about to pluck, and you can use a tweed. <laughs> I gotta go. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Oh, girl, I thought he would never leave. <laughs> oh, look, there's boys crashing our party. Okay, Spirit, lock the door. We got two hours before the basketball game is over. <laughs> hey, guys, what a great surprise. What? You told us to come. You even gave us Banaka. Let's get it on. <laughs> Come on, Tiger. Y'all just eye candy. Now follow my lead, okay? A man and his best friend chilling, watching the game, you know? You know, no teenagers plucking eyebrows, no girlfriend trying to control a remote. <laughs> you know, just two men hanging, caveman style. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Natalie, what are you doing here? Dwayne and I just got back from Flower Mart. Remember I told you they were having a sale on hydrangeas, and then you told me to say hi to Dranger? Man, I'm funny even when I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Thanks for the flower, my thing. You are saving my life. <laughs> Man, what are friends for? And that dog is cool. You know, last night, when we went to that one-woman play, Taste My Tears, <laughs> well, we laughed, <laughs> then we cried. <laughs> I'm so cleansing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Natalie, I thought you said you were going to see that play with one of your girlfriends. Uh, all my girlfriends do is complain about how there are no good men left. Dwayne never does that. <laughs> Dwayne, I forgot to tell you, I got us tickets for the car show tomorrow. What? Yeah, they got the James Bond Thunderbird there. I hear Halle Berry's butt print is still in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but Dwayne, don't forget, you promised tomorrow with the whole Mexpo. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Flex, but a promise is a promise. <laughs> but the first 500 people get a free wicker parasol. <laughs> I'll get you one, too. Oh, why don't you keep it for yourself? Every man should have a pair of something. Okay, my turn. I never hid in a boy's closet. Ooh, no. me neither. <laughs> Yeah, the first three things. I was just sort of hungry. Uh, okay, my turn. I never kissed Arnez. Mm. All right, all right. You gotta kiss a few frogs before you get your prince. Jezebel. Ooh. Ooh. Whatever. 
can we just get back to the game? Fine. <laughs> I never <laughs> should have thrown this party for you. Ooh. OK. <laughs> My turn. I never should have let you. <laughs> so important, Flex. I don't like you and Dwayne spending so much time together. I'm sorry, but it's over. What? You and I are breaking up? No, you and Dwayne are breaking up. <laughs> oh, I see. Listen, sweetie, I've been through this before, and you're just gonna have to get used to it. <sighs> you're dating someone who's kind of attractive. <laughs> Unfortunately, men are drawn to me. Let's face it, this has caused many a car pile up. I'm not worried about you. I got you. This is about Dwayne, little Miss Fender Bender. He was my friend first. Oh, you should be ashamed. You're acting worse than a teenage girl. No, I'm not. I can't believe you're acting like this, Brianna. Arnaz was my friend first. <laughs> to step in, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the heck up out of here. <laughs> so this is how it's gonna be, Brianna? Oh, no, this is how it is. Fine, then. Give me back my ponytail. <laughs> Man, she, she took your hair. What happened to your party? Spirit's been hiding her special relationship with Arnaz. I will give her the kiss of death, but I don't know where those lips have been. The kiss of death, Brianna. Could it be possible that you're overreacting? No, because my baby is just like me, okay? She calls it like she sees it. You have boys in here. <laughs> something to hurt about. You have a month to think about Spirit's betrayal in your room. Now go. Go. And where are you going? I, I just thought you were busy with punishment. I'm just getting started. Now let's go break you and Dwayne up. I don't want to miss the fourth quarter. Oh, hey, Nat, I'm about to add the baby's breath. Come on, you don't want to miss it. Dwayne, Flex feels uncomfortable with us seeing each other. Flex, I'm offended. You know the brother's code. Never covet thy neighbor's hottie. <laughs> No, it's not that. It's just, you know, when I call you, you know, and you, you weren't, I, I mean, and, and then, oh. Dwayne, he misses you, and he wants us to break up. Oh, what? Man, well, say no more, dog. Natalie, now what we have, no, I'm sorry, had was, was special, and I cherish it forever. But, uh, but my boy's dialing my number, and I gotta, gotta pick it up. So, uh, so Natalie, I got to put you on hold. Click, click. You two deserve each other. So, uh, you want to watch the game here? Well, I mean, I'm not going to watch it alone, huh? <laughs> you know, maybe we can uh, make some meat sandwiches and do what men do, Yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh, shoot, I got to put my Snapdragons in some water. <laughs> Hey, stranger. Hey, Dwayne. I haven't seen you in a couple of days. What's going on? Well, I just, uh, got finished doing my yoga. <laughs> my bones are so limber I could, uh, surf and so late. <laughs> so, uh, you and Flex doing something today? Mm, not really. I was just gonna surprise him with some coffee. Oh. You know, there's a, there's a sale at linens and things. <laughs> you shouldn't. I know. I'll drive. Let's go. <laughs> Stuff, tell her I am keeping the knife that she stabbed me in the back with. Come on, Brianna. It's not like Spirit lied. She just never told you. That crazy logic might work with you and your buddies, but Spirit was my girlfriend. And girlfriends don't keep secrets, especially if they're about a man. Wow, I'm a man? No, men don't wear t-shirts with you who stains on them. <laughs> and anyway, you shouldn't be talking about stuff you don't know about. Oh, I think I know plenty. Are you sure this isn't about us and the fact that it was me she kissed? Huh? 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 Uh, excuse me. Don't flatter yourself. This is strictly a girl thing. Here's the girlfriend rule. You don't kiss a guy and then let me kiss the guy without telling me that you kissed the guy first. Spirit and I have history. 
We've done a lot of things together. We even took a bath together when we were three. You want to get mad at her for that, too? Or maybe you want to get even? Honest, just go. <laughs> Brianna, you're a lucky girl. Because you have so many friends, you can just throw a good one away. Are you sick or something, man? I'm used to beating you, but 15 or nothing, twice. You OK? <laughs> man, you were just on fire today. You were the racquetball king of the world. See ya. Hey, man. <laughs> What's your rush? There's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie playing down at the Cineplex. I hear this time he's battling arthritis. What's going on with my finger? <laughs> as much as I'd love to, man, I have got to get to work. Again? You've been working like a dog all week. Oh, I get it. Dwayne's place. Hello? Hello? I think I dialed the wrong number. Hmm. Who, who was it? I don't know. They hung up. Huh. Well, I've been getting a lot of those lately. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, 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 hi, Mama. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just here with Flex. Yeah. You remember Flex, don't you? Uh-huh. What, what? You're locked in the freezer, are you? Oh, OK. I'll be there right away. <laughs> I keep telling that woman, keep the Klondike bars up front. <laughs> See ya. Uh, you want some help? Oh, no, 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 no. When Mama gets stuck in the freezer, she kind of, you know, freaks out. And she's usually naked, so. <laughs> Mama likes it when I look nice. <laughs> hmm, he's never been in a rush to get her out of the freezer before. Strange calls, people hanging up. Let's see who Star 69 gets us. Victoria's Tea House. Victoria's Tea House? Those two time and tea guzzlers? Excuse me? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I meant to think that. Hi. Here's all your stuff. Wait. Is my red bell sleeve top in here? You mean my dad's oil rag? <laughs> oh, I remember this. Our t-shirt from Six Flags. We rode every roller coaster that day. Oh, look, there's your lunch. <laughs> Is this your way of trying to say you're sorry? Maybe. It's just that since we're best friends, I thought you would have told me about kissing Arnez. Rihanna, that kiss with Arnez was nothing. We were 11 and playing spin the bottle. So he didn't smell like peaches back then? More like old soda. <laughs> so, girl, are we friends again? No. <laughs> okay, we are now. Okay. <laughs> okay, girl. It's been four days. We need to catch up. Do you think our drama might have been because you still have feelings for Arnes? Do you want your birthday present? Won't bring it up again. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for waiting for me, Natalie. Flex just needed his Dwayne time. Don't we all? Wait until you taste this marmalade to die for. Everything just looks lovely. I Aha! <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, Flex, it's not what you think. Oh, oh, it's not. Well, I think my best friend and my girlfriend are sneaking around behind my back having hot tea. OK, it's what you think. <laughs> Flex, calm down. Calm down? How, how, how could you do this to me? Shh, yourselves. <laughs> I'm sorry, Flex. It's, once I tasted the sweet nectar of feminine sophistication, I, I just couldn't let it go. Oh, really? So this, this tea sipping is worth risking 30 years of friendship? You get scones, too. Yeah, well, I hope they come with memories. You know, I should join you two and suck in some of this sophistication. Ooh, I'd stab a buddy in the back for this. OK, Flex, that's enough. Now, we've been best friends ever since you carjacked my hippity hop. <laughs> you're my best friend, but you're not my only friend. You just have to accept the fact that I have lots of friends, and now I've made a new one in Natalie, who allows me to express my civilized self. <laughs> I can be civilized. Shh. No more strawberries, Henry. <laughs> Flex, don't you think it's unfair for you to expect Dwayne to be at your beck and call? He's not at my beck and call. He's just always there when I call. Why can't you just share him, Flex? It's not like you don't have plenty of other friends. But, but what? Look, 
I know plenty of people, and, and I have other buddies, but I only have one friend. When you meet your best friend at four, you don't exactly have to make other friends. Well, Flex, I feel the same way. But you said you had lots of friends. Yeah, I said I have lots of friends, but not lots of friend friends. I mean, Natalie's cool and all, but she wouldn't get one of my kidneys. <laughs> what? Well, I might give you a ride to the airport or help you move, but an organ? Ooh, baby, find a healthy cousin. <laughs> You'd really do that for me? Absolutely. I mean, you're my dog. I'm sorry, I was tripping, man. It, you know what? I won't get in the way of this yaya sisterhood. Uh, yaya! <laughs> yaya! So that means we're on for the yarn show tomorrow. Oh, hey, yarn show. Oh, pfft. oh, Natalie, yarn? <laughs> no, this brother draws the line at yarn, all right? <laughs> Auto show? Oh, Halley's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my ticket. I'll meet you by the crochet booth. Hey, Frenchie, uh, let me get some of them scones. Excuse me? I want some scones, man. Scones! Uh, with, with some whipped cream, too. That's Devonshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of that. Some of that. Put the flat up, man. What's that over there? You have not seen me. Turn around! Turn around! <laughs> I guess you didn't see that triple homicide on the news this morning. Daddy, you're harshing my mellow. <laughs> well, um, ba, I dare see be con co, jo. That's a loose translation in Yoruba for sit your butt down, eat your breakfast. But, Mommy, I'm too excited to eat. I gotta go surprise Spirit and Arnez and tell them that I'm back and that their boring little lives are gonna be meaningful again. <laughs> All right. Now that the child is gone, can we discuss the house rules for squatters, vagabonds, and the generally undesirable? <laughs> Rule number one, no more whale music at night. Man, what is with the... The soothing sound of a killer whale is what helps me sleep. Yeah, well, so could a whale-placed harpoon. Well, if I can recall, that's the sound that you used to make when you used to reach a romantic peak. <laughs> Just tell me when you're gonna get a job. Well, Flex, as you know, Baltimore is a water-based society with various points gracing the Chesapeake Bay. You know, you used to be so hot before all that book learning. And you used to be even hotter when I was ignorant. Now, focus. Now, I'm gonna be circulating my resume to all the places befitting a woman with a PhD, and then I'm gonna find a very big, fabulous place to live. Oh, how about fabulous and far away? <laughs> Come on, Flex, now you're lucky. You don't have to start all over again. No, no, I don't. They've been keeping my seat warm down to WYNX, and do you wanna know why? Because I have something called likability. <laughs> See, when, when people like you, they wanna keep you around, and uh, when they don't, well, you've lived the rest. <laughs> Sometimes in the snow, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. And your flatette man is back. <laughs> and now that I've got the sheen of a guy who almost made it to the pros again, we need to renegotiate. But don't worry, I ain't gonna stick it to you. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, awfully nice of you, little Flexi. Give me a chance to stick it to you first. <laughs> oh, you're no longer lead sports anchor. You've been bumped. What? <laughs> By who? Hey, Flex, you're in my spot. <laughs> Visitor parking is on level two. Visit a parking You can't fire me. Oh, technically I can, but I haven't. You see, when you ran off to pursue your hoop dreams, you left the WYNX team without its star player. But Stacy said I could have the time off. Yeah, that's right. That's why I'm giving Stacy some time off. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
But, but Danny, why him? Oh, because he's ruthless. He's hardworking. And he's my wife's little brother. <laughs> but when he got wind of the oldest rookie in the NBA story, he was on the first plane out to L.A. That story was about me. <laughs> yeah, like, don't worry. The irony wasn't lost on us either. Uh, but hey, maybe you could fill in for me on a day or two. I, uh, call in sick on spa days. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> I don't have to take this. Every station in Baltimore is gonna be knocking on my door because I have likability. Yeah. You also have a non-compete clause. Yeah. <laughs> so your contract states that you can't work at a local media outlet for a year if you quit. So I'm not intimidated by your binding contracts, your legal technicalities. Yeah, my million dollar lawsuits. <laughs> a man dares to pursue his dreams and loses his job? This is not the America that I want to live in. But, but it's still the land of opportunity, pal. And lucky for you, our weatherman is retiring. El Nino Gonzalez? <laughs> I thought he died months ago. Yeah, we did too. Well, you never shake the sound of a man screaming in his own coffin. <laughs> hey, man, I do sports. I don't do weather, and I'll never do weather. So if there's no position open in sports, then there's no position for me. Uh, th this is where you say, I'm sorry you're back in sports? Oh, I'm sorry, you're... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, hey! Hey! Brianna, I can rock this Gucci purse, and you can rock this Prada purse. Oh, you are the worst Brianna ever, Ray Ray. You need to go inside and practice. Then remember, it's <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. Ah! Carl, what are you doing here? I missed you. I thought you left. My mom quit her job and we're staying in Baltimore. Ah! This is so exciting. I mean, we can go back to school together again, and you and our nest can start your new life as a couple. Ah! Arnez again after a kiss like that. But why? Because that was our goodbye forever kiss. Our Titanic kiss. The, the music swells, he slips into the ocean, he dies with the band and my heart goes on. He lives next door to me. You're gonna see him sooner or later. But everything has changed. I rocked one on him. No, two. And I don't think you learned that practicing on your pillow. So I at least need to know how he feels about our kiss. So what are you gonna do? Uh-uh, no, no. What are we gonna do? Oh, girl, I miss your scheming way so much. <laughs> now, one lawyer in Baltimore can get me out of that non-compete contract. Well, there's one, but I gotta rear end somebody and wear a neck brace for a week. <laughs> and I've checked everywhere. Nobody's hiring. I can't believe I quit my job. At least we're not like other unemployed people. We got skills. You know what? You're right. I mean, we can find a job in no time. No doubt. The, the, the phones is going to be ringing off the hook. Ring! <laughs> <laughs> is it on? <laughs> okay, this is it. Here comes our nest. Now, when he gets here, be sure to be real subtle about the kiss. Okay. okay. Hey, our nest. Uh. So how about that kiss yesterday, huh? Yeah, that was a kiss I've been dreaming about my whole life. Aww. I miss Brianna so much. Sometimes I think I'm seeing her. <laughs> you got it bad. Um, but maybe she's closer than you think. A lot closer. Yeah, well, uh, I gotta go. See you around. Okay. How come you didn't come out? Girl, are you kidding? I'm gonna make him miss me more so he'll want me more. Now that I know Arnez can't function without the soft touch of my tender kiss. <laughs> Where are you going? Nowhere. Yet. But I'm acting as if. You see, if I dress for work, I'll get work. It's called Manifest Destiny. <laughs> And that's Destiny calling right now. <laughs> Nicole Barnes, PhD. Hello, Destiny calling for Mr. Carol Barnes, PhD. 
That is not funny, Flex. This is hard for me. I've always had a job. Even when I was 18 and pregnant with Brianna, I was paid to be the poster girl for babies having babies. Don't let it happen to you. Look, girl, you need to get over it. You knew there was no job security and whale watching. They're an endangered species, for God's sake. They go, you go. Well, what about you, Mr. Flathead Man? Don't nobody want you, do they? What do they? Do they? No. <laughs> Oh, how the bourgeoisie have fallen. <laughs> For once, you two are down and out, and I am the symbol of success and prosperity. <laughs> then why aren't you at work? Well, uh, my boss down at the used car lot gave me a couple days off to prepare for my annual evaluation. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's employed people talk. <laughs> See, uh, in laid off people terms, I'm just studying to become the lot manager. Dang, Nicole, we suck. Dwayne's doing better than us. Well, it's okay, honey. It thinks it get better. You want a hug? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll give you a little hug. Oh, look at you two, comforting each other. <laughs> you two stay jobless much longer. I won't be surprised if I'm the best man at your wedding again, and there's another bundle of joy running around up in here. <laughs> hey, 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 where you going? Uh, to let El Nino back in his casket. <laughs> Bring your umbrellas to work tomorrow. It might rain. <laughs> Today's weather question comes from Margaret Kurtz of Towson. Flex, my bridge club loves watching you do the weather. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Could we see if your back is as sexy as your front? <laughs> and what does that have to do with the weather? Bless you. Local weather forecast, and I'm your weatherman, Flex Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> Very funny, Charlie. That was nice work, Flex. Really. Top of the next hour, I'll wear spandex. All right, I, you've won. I, I've accepted my position as weather slut. Hey, uh, weather slut. <laughs> Could you? Tidy up the desk a little. Um, see, I gotta go. I'm off to play 18 holes with Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan in some charity thing today. Wait, wait, wait. I, I set that up. They're supposed to be teeing off with me. Uh, no, actually, they're supposed to be teeing off with the lead sports anchor, and that would be um, me. <laughs> Smite him. You need to get over there and claim your man. Look at her, crawling all over him like a spider with a big old butt. <laughs> see, that's what you see. All I see is part two of my plan. Arnaz being so into me, he rebukes the hoochie. Now all I have to do is get over there and hear it for myself. Hey, I got an idea. Hey, Ray Ray. <laughs> PhD thing on my resume? Yeah, that's a typo. <laughs> it's supposed to be GED. <laughs> yeah, I'm as dumb as a stump. <laughs> I need to be a job. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I have been up all night studying. Nicole, look, ask me any question out of this book. Dwayne, I really don't have time for this. See, all that attitude gonna keep you from getting a job. <laughs> At least Flex has likability. Make me like you. Make me not smack you. Come on, Nicole, you're my best friend's ex-wife. Let's, let's not get freaky. What's up, D? You get a job yet, Nicole? No, chocolate thunder. And it's sunny. You said that it was gonna be raining. Well, I got a forecast for you. Get a job. <laughs> Ooh, it's Hurricane Flex. Batten down the hatches, board up the windows. There's a lot of hot air blowing. Right up, yo. Woo! <laughs> there it is right there, that old passion. <laughs> you two keep this up, and angry sex is sure to follow. Shut, Shut up! up. Well, you got a crappy job, right? How do you get up every morning without wanting to throw yourself in front of a train? Hey, easy, all right? See, I get up every morning knowing that by the end of the day, I'm gonna make somebody smile. 
By selling them a Pinto with a backseat made of Legos? Hey, Flex, you got a job. You're a weatherman. You get to lie to millions of people every day and they keep coming back. Dog, that's the American dream. <laughs> Girl, this car's so funky, I'm about to black out from the fumes. Suck it up, go on a mission. <laughs> no, there's a fair going on at Druid Hill. And I heard the haunted house is real dark and scary. And I need someone to hold on to. So, you wanna go? I'm not really in the mood for big crowds. See? He's rebuking, he's rebuking! <laughs> Since Brianna left, I've been kind of down. Me too. Oh, I miss her so. <laughs> but at least we have each other. Thanks, Ginger. You're a good friend. Let's go hang out at the mall. Brianna loved the mall. See, now he's passed my test. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Swear he wouldn't leave his cart in front of my building. <laughs> so let your smiles be your umbrellas because there aren't any clouds in sight. And for Maggie Kurtz and her bridge club, I am Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. And thank you. We'll be back at the top of the hour. And we're out. Flex, that's one of the best weather broadcasts I've ever seen. Oh, thanks, Hank. You know, I am just happy to be part of the team. <laughs> hey, bro-in-law, a word? I just got this memo that you're sending me to that fishing contest on Sharp Island. Oh, yeah, yeah. The tournament. <laughs> that should be a blast. I cover athletes, not fish. Hey, hey, why don't I do the weather from the tournament? It, it might be kind of fun to have the winner of the contest co-host with me. I mean, after all, I am the bass man for the job. <laughs> <laughs> I like your attitude. I'm like Danny here. Danny, let's go talk about your future in my office. Uh, Danny, likability. <laughs> Chef Boy R.D.? Close, Chef Bro R.D. <laughs> ah, very funny. This is an apology to your mother. Wait a minute. Cooking and apology all in one day. Did the doctor call? Am I dying? <laughs> very funny. But thanks to our good friend, Dwayne, I got a new attitude and my old job back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Daddy. Uh, thanks, hey, don't waste all those hugs over there. Mommy's got a new job, too. You're looking at the new research director for the Save the Oceans United League. S-O-U-L. So! <laughs> See, now I'm helping marine life by going straight to the source. So everything is going to be perfect. Oh, congratulations, Mommy. Oh, thank you. Oh, and I've got even better news. Brianna and I are going to be living it up in a spacious apartment in Bolton Hill. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You and Brianna get an apartment? We never talked about that. You actually thought that since I got a job in Baltimore that the living arrangements weren't gonna change? Yeah, things are great the way they are. No, no, they're not. But, Flex, I'm not gonna argue with you. We'll let Brianna decide. Baby, <laughs> now who would you rather live with? Mommy or Daddy? Now, take your time, you know? Nobody's gonna get upset. <laughs> okay, Daddy. <laughs> but I can't do life! <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I, I, I'm fine. You know, if you rather live here, then here is where you'll stay. We could spend the weekends together. Hmm. Thank you, Mommy, for understanding. Okay. <laughs> and for giving me life. <laughs> I'll see you later. Later, baby. Oh, wow. Nicole, that was probably the most mature thing that you've ever done. Our relationship is moving to a new level. I hate you! <laughs> against me. Nicole, be reasonable. Look, see, you're like broccoli. Healthy, good for you, but people have to pour cheese all over you just to choke you down. <laughs> see, I'm like chocolate cake. I go down pretty easy, and I'm good for your hips. Don't feel so sure of yourself, Flex. The only reason why I went along with this is because I didn't want to end up being mean mom. I know a trap when I see one. Oh, please, Nicole, ain't nobody trying to trap you. Oh, I beg to differ. <laughs> I'm on to you, Flex. See, you're the fun parent, but not for long, okay? This is my chance to be the fun parent. So while you're setting curfews and imposing punishments, I'm gonna be mommy good guy. <laughs> you see, I'm having fun already.
Th this place you're moving into, uh, padded walls, right? Here I am, Ernest. Surprise! Brianna, I'm so happy to see you. I've been lost in the hot seat. When did you get back? Well, it's a long story, but all that matters is that I'm here now. I you never went anywhere. Brianna, I know you never left. Brianna, why do you keep playing games in my heart? It wasn't a game. It was a test. Brianna, I'm a musician. Elvis wasn't good at tests, and neither am I. I think it's best we stay friends. But, you ready to go, boo? Boo? Yeah, I'm with Ginger now. She doesn't play games. Welcome back, Bree Bree. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I blew it, spirit. again, Daddy. I wish all boys were more like you. There's nobody like me, sweetie. I'm an original. <laughs> I thought our nest was an original. <laughs> Stop messing with me. <laughs> okay, well, this is the last of it. I'll walk you out, Ma. Okay. Well, take care, Nicole. I wish you well. Whatever, Flex. <laughs> bye bye, Tina Turner. She go, she go, she go, she go. I'm gonna miss her so much. When are they gonna post that list? Relax, Arnaz. You've worked hard. They'll pick your band. Yeah, chill, Arnaz. We haven't seen you this nervous since we took you to see that movie with subtitles. <laughs> you know, Battle of Bands is a big deal, Spirit. It's like if you went on a date with a guy and it... Well, it's like if you went on a date with a guy. <laughs> this is so exciting. I just know you're gonna win this whole thing. Aw, thanks, baby. Mm. Ugh, from the Battle of the Band to the Battle of Trying to Keep My Lunch Down. <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? Pretty boy knew he was gonna lose, so he brought some shoulders to cry on. <laughs> uh, very funny, A-Train. Or should I say, Albert. <laughs> At least I'm smart enough to use a nickname, Arnaz. <laughs> <laughs> like the way you giggle, baby. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry. I already got a man. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> I was talking to Red right here. Oh, I'm Spirit. A-Train, baby. And I'm feeling the spirit right now. Well, praise the Lord. Here is the list for Battle of the Bands, and if you're not on it, please cry off campus. <laughs> yes, we're in! <laughs> That's rock and roll, baby. <laughs> we made it too, rock and blows. <laughs> And here's a little taste of what you're gonna have to deal with. Solo quiero amar, se entregarte todo y se tu ángel. Piensas que te haré mal, pero no escucha corazón. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Did you sound that bad? Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one in. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. I'm with Zandra. Is that anything like I'm with Stupid? Well, Zandra is Arnaz's band. Oh, so the answer is yes. Flex, I'm gonna do it. Dwayne, look, I told you, if you liposuction your face, your head will cave in. 
No. I'm gonna ask Candy to marry me. Uh, forget liposuction, you need brain surgery. Congratulations, Dwayne. Don't pay any attention to Daddy. He just ate a pack of now one haters. Hey, you can't ask Candy to marry you yet, Dwayne. You guys just got back together. Uh, you're not thinking clearly. You're all hopped up on, on makeup sex. <laughs> I'm hopped up on love, Flex. <laughs> I mean, now that I got Candy back, I never want to lose her again. But you two look so odd together. You're round and she's tall. When you walk down the street, you look like a bowling ball chasing a pin. <laughs> At least I have a pin to chase. Strike. Ooh, out. <laughs> Wayne, marriage is serious, man. Your whole life changes. And, and you don't handle change well. You remember when they changed the Mothers on the Fresh Prince? You didn't watch TV for a whole year. <laughs> That's the point. Will was never the same after that. <laughs> All right, man, you don't know what's ahead of you. But maybe not, but I know what's behind me, and that's life without candy. Man, she's all I think about. She's all I want. She's all I need. Dumb idea number 682 by Dwayne. Uh oh, really? Well, well, you know what dumb idea number one was? Having you as my best friend. Uh -huh. oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Well, for your information, that was my dumb idea first. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> Okay, Butter, tighten up the bridge. I'm Fitzy, let's bass drum more hi-hat. How about a break? Got a Snickers in the freezer that's just calling my name, dude. I heard A-Train sing. Believe me, if we're gonna win this competition, we're gonna have to bring it. Hey, boo. Hey, guys, I got your new outfits. Check it out. <laughs> yep, you guys are gonna look fly. <laughs> yeah, it's tight. No, we won't. Things are all wrong. Look like hip hop butlers. Oh, well, yes. Actually, I think they're kind of cool. See, Chuck likes them. My name is Charlie, not Chuck. <laughs> oh, well, Chuck is just a nickname for Charlie, but if we ain't cool like that, then whatever. I got a nickname for Spirit, it's D's, as in D's suck. <laughs> Good, then they match our music. <laughs> Go away, is that something I can look at? Oh, you won't be able to look at nothing if I knock those green eyes out your head. <laughs> and that spirit worked really hard on those outfits for you. This competition is serious. If she can't bring it, she can bounce. What? Wait, hold up, Arnez. We've known each other our whole lives. I thought I was doing a favor for a friend, but I guess not. Look, I don't have time to talk about this spirit. Come on, guys, break's over. We had a break? <laughs> Candy. You are my sunshine. You light up my life. You make me feel brand new. I like it when you drop it like it's hot. No. What? No, you can't use song titles. You're proposing to Candy, not the Yin Yang Twins. Hey, here's your Soul Plane DVD. I hope they have refunds on bootlegs. <laughs> Is that all flex because Danielle and I are kind of in the middle of something? Oh, finally, you're seeking professional help for your crazy. Oh, you know what? No, for that. No, listen, he's not here for professional reasons. He's here as a friend. That's right. She's the kind of friend who helps friends with their proposals when other friends won't. Well, that's because other friends know better. That's you know what? Right, because you, you need to drop off the video. Why don't you go right, back? All right, all right, you two. What is going on? <laughs> Come on, you guys have been friends too long to act like this. Fine, you wanna know what the problem is? I don't think Dwayne and Candy should get married. <gasps> what, I told you that already. I, I wanted her to see my pain. <laughs> wanna see it again? <gasps> Flex, why would you say that? Because they just got back together and he's rushing into it. But you know what, I'm not rushing into anything. I think our breakup made us stronger. Yeah, you know, I think you guys should come in and talk to me. You two could benefit from a session. With, with him? him? No, 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 I ain't coming with him. I ain't going nowhere. Look, we don't need therapy, all right? He needs to just do what I say. Look, if you value your friendship, I suggest you come here tomorrow night, 8 o'clock sharp. Now, you guys are going to have to see yourselves out because I have a client coming, and I have to go cover up my feet. Don't ask. What's up, Shouty? Hey, hey, you look good in that outfit. Ah, my baby made it for me. Your baby? 
Wait, excuse us. We need a homegirl moment. <laughs> What's up with you and Albert? Oh, you mean my new man, Albert? New man? When did that happen? Yesterday. You were there. Didn't you feel the magic? <laughs> All he did was ask you for your name. Abracadabra, baby. <laughs> You know, one thing led to another, and now my new relationship with A-Train is right on track. But he's the competition. He's not my competition. Hey, uh, we're about to go in and rehearse. You two should come check out some real music. No, I don't think so. All right. We out. Come on, Brianna. I'm always there for you. Can't you be there for me? OK, but just for one minute. Arnez, wait, let me explain. Explain what? Do you like A-Train's music better than mine? No, I don't. Like I haven't been an emerging rock star for long. So when you see your girlfriend shaking her butt at another band's rehearsal, you know you got played. Hey, Arnez, are you setting up for a mic check? No, I'm in the middle of a girlfriend check. Hey, those were supposed to be our outfits. Yo, dude, you look dope. <laughs> Why aren't we wearing them again? You gave them my clothes? You didn't want them. You said they were, what was the word? Wrong? So now they're right. That's right, baby. It's all right. So it's like that, Spirit? No. It's like this. Arnez. Arnez, don't worry about them. Let's just go to your rehearsal. Sorry. Our rehearsal's closed. Let's just lack them back, you know what I'm saying? You know what? You know what? You're just dumb. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? That's nice and mature. I guess we know now why you're not married. Well, at least I've been married and I have a daughter. Well, at least I was smart enough not to have sex in high school. <laughs> you had a choice. Oh, man. Look, I got that 40K. Okay, 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 enough. You guys have done nothing but argue since you've been up here. You're not listening to each other. You know what? Let's try something new. Oh, look at this, Dwayne. She's been in your closet. <laughs> These are role-playing puppets. Why well, I gotta be the princess, though? Maybe because you act like one. <laughs> oh, well, at least I'm taller than the puppets. Oh, wait a second. Now. <laughs> you know what? In heels, I got the puppets. Boys, the toys, boys, boys. Stop acting like children and put your puppets on. <laughs> okay, they'll free you to hear each other's perspective without judgment. Now, Dwayne, using the frog, Express how Flex sounds to you. I'm Flex Washington. I know everything. I'm smart, sexy, and handsome. I love solving everybody's problems. Not only do I catch flies, I am fly. Holla at you, amphibian. Not that. Mm. Now, Flex, how did it make you feel hearing Dwayne? Hi, I'm Dwayne. I have bad ideas and no game. Like the time when I wanted to open a restaurant and serve only chicken pots and call it beaks and feet. <sighs> let's, let's try coming from a place of understanding, not judgment. That wasn't me. That was the princess. You know what? Man, this, this isn't therapy. This is ghetto Sesame Street. All right. Well, let's just hit it straight on then. You think Dwayne getting married is a bad idea. Why? I think he's rushing into it. What, what, if, what if she breaks his heart again? Well, that's a risk Dwayne is willing to take. But who's going to have to be there to pick up the pieces, huh? Me. Look at him, Danielle. There's a lot of pieces there, and they're all heavy. <laughs> he's not thinking. He's just going to run off and, and, and get married and... and you, you know what? Never mind. This, this is just stupid. No, no, no. Go ahead. Finish your thought. I don't know. Leave, I guess. Is that what's been bothering you? You're afraid you're gonna be alone? Yeah, no. I mean, I don't know. I mean, things are just moving so fast. I mean, one minute we're in high school, the next minute my daughter's going off to college and my best friend's getting married. Come on, Flex, man. 
I mean, I'm getting married, not going to prison. Brother, you have no idea what marriage is, do you? Come on, Flex. Man, you know me better than anybody. Man, and even though you, you make the big bucks, you know, and you get all the women, and you have the slight advantage in the looks department, and I do mean slight because, you know, you ain't got all this. <laughs> man, you never left me behind. And you know what? I'd never leave you, man. Thanks, uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I am good. It's that one guy that jumps out the window that ends up on Oprah. Oh, so, uh, tell us, how did that make you feel? Talk to the frog. <laughs> uh, Spirit, I, I need to talk to you. Okay. Oh, here, take this. I like roughnecks, but you're a little too rough. You, you cut me. <laughs> Okay, let's make this quick while he greasing up. All right, Arnez is really mad at me, and I don't know what to do. Dump him. He's a jerk. Spirit, he's not a jerk. He's just acting like a jerk right now. He's under a lot of pressure. I don't care. This has been coming for a long time. And I've only been putting up with him because of you. But you guys have been friends since you were kids. Well, I guess I've outgrown him. But if you insist on staying with him, act like a supportive girlfriend and apologize. Musicians need that. Yo, baby doll, all this softness is going to waste. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta go. Brianna, what are you doing here? Arnez, I, I need to talk to you. About what? How much you don't like my music? No, see, can you please put a shirt on so I can focus? <laughs> Look, I know how important the Battle of the Bands is to you, and I'm sorry for making you feel like I wasn't being supportive. That's fine, but I can't believe you're dancing to A-Train's music. Well, I can't apologize for that. I like his music. Can't we like different things? Brianna, he's my competition. I'm not voting for him, Arnez. I support you. That's what couples do. I don't agree with you not going to college, but I support you. I don't agree with you hiring Charlie, but I support you. I don't agree with you using old baloney as coasters, but I support you. Dang, what do you like about me? Well, you can take your shirt off again. I like that. <laughs> Look, the point is, it's not about all that stuff. It's about us. And I will always be there for you. Thanks, baby. And now about this shirt. Say, <laughs> ooh, Lord, it's Friday. I love the way you move. And the sexy things you do. Oh, girl. I said, hey, young girl. Said, I see them pretty toes. I never thought Spirit would sell me out. Spirit has been a good friend and a good person. Think about all the stuff that we've been through together. You should want her to be happy. Yeah, I guess you're right. Kind of just dumping on her anyway. <laughs> hey, Spirit, listen. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, Arnez. Listen to A-Train. <laughs> Come on, Spirit. You and I are cracking each other all the time. It's what we do. We've been doing it since we were three years old. Remember I used to dog my Yogi Bear pajamas? Want some little footies in them? You weren't three, you were 14, Arnaz. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm trying to watch my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's done. Can we talk now? Now let's bring up our last band, Sandra. Yeah.
of this year's Battle of the Bands. Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's all right. Sonra. Yes! Wow, man. I guess I can't call you rock and blows anymore. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, I have an idea. You both rocked it. Why don't we go to my dad's restaurant and celebrate? What do you say, Spirit? Maybe another time. Come on, Spirit. I'm trying to be cool here. Well, it's a little too late for that. And if you excuse me, I've got a train to catch. <laughs> Baby, the boy is paying. <laughs> I need his free crabs or his company. <laughs> Spirit, wait. Look, Brianna. Like I said, we'll always be cool. You my girl. But our next? Look, I, I'll call you later, okay? Come on, baby. Say yes. I got an 800-square-foot lily pad right on the lake. So if I kiss you, do you promise to turn into a prince? Because I don't want to hook up with a horny toad. How about an excited frog? Uh, it didn't work. You're still a frog. Look a little higher, you'll find your prince. <laughs> Look at your watch. You find your hours up. <laughs> Dwayne, you are something else. Who knew this much romance came in such a tiny package? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I am sized for fun. <laughs> Come here, girl. Oh. Dwayne, oh. did you see that, baby? <laughs> Department. What's he up to now? I know that scream. He must have just showed Candy his bank statement. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, why don't you go over there and check on him? Daddy, has this horror movie taught us nothing? The beautiful teenage vixen is always the first to get it. You're more like the unsuspecting groundskeeper who always makes it to the closing credits. You go, you go. <laughs> all right, all right, be right back. Ah! Ah! No, baby, I'm not going back in there unless you do something about that little monster. Uh, Dwayne, I told you, lights off, then undress. <laughs> no, Flex, I have a mouse. And no, Candy, it's not a monster. It's one of Mother Nature's little creatures who just happens to have the ability to poop while it walks. Listen, I moved from the country to the city to get away from little creatures like mice. Now, baby, if there's one mouse, there's two. And if there's two, there's ten. Is that that new country man? <laughs> Until that mouse is gone, you will get no more of this candy. Well, come on, baby. <laughs> Joke's on her. I got my own candy. <laughs> you miss her already, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I eat to forget. Okay. Sometimes in the night. But I can't turn no one else uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh, Oh yeah I'll be there for thick and thin Why don't you love where you're from? Maybe you can get some more Maybe one on one One uh, on yeah. one Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Maybe one on one Maybe one on one But just because Now we haven't found One on one One on one all right, team, what have we learned here today? I don't know, Hank, tell us. Thank you. <laughs> We've learned that good stories equal ratings. Ratings equal jobs. Jobs equal money. And money equals me roping a steer at cowboy camp. <laughs> but I digress. Look, the point is, 
The only segment that still has a pulse is our flex files. <laughs> and can I just say that my back is killing me from carrying all of y'all? <laughs> there is no I in team, playa. No, but there is one in superstar. <laughs> all right, team, you know, I, I'm almost glad we had this little chat here today. <laughs> Look, just go out there, get the good stories, yeah, do the best you can. Okay. <laughs> Whew, and not so fast. Say, Ipistar. <laughs> Flex, I didn't want to embarrass you in front of your peers. I know how sensitive you can be about your precious little Flex files. What are you talking about, Hank? You said my ratings are great. I'm the king of sports shows. Uh -huh. Well, you've just lost your throne, your highness. <laughs> Blaine Lockraven's show is number one in your time slot, and that makes you... Don't say it, Hank! Number two! Oh. <laughs> what does Blaine Lockraven have that I don't have? I get good stories, too. I, I was there when Mike Tyson got out of jail. <laughs> Blaine Lockraven stole a car to get in jail with him. <laughs> what if I told you that Zorbo Vishnavisevic just transferred to my daughter's school? The Baltic Bomber? He's the hottest European import ever to play the game of basketball. Uh-huh. Word on the street is he may skip college and go right to the NBA. But everybody in town's been trying to get near this kid. It's like he's got his own personal iron curtain. <laughs> and who can leap an iron curtain in a single bound? <laughs> hmm? No clue. Wait. Did those mouse traps work? Oh, yeah. They work. Oh, baby. Well, if those traps didn't work, how you gonna catch the mouse? Oh. Baby, in order to catch a mouse, you have to think like a mouse. Now, what catches mice? A cat. Too girly. Come on, baby. Think nature's hitman. What did you get, Dwayne? Ah, uh, there he is. Gordy! A <laughs> snake? Uh huh. Get the mouse, Gordy. Get the mouse, Gordy. Now the mouth, no. Yeah, Hank. Uh, yeah, so you want the scoop on Zorbo, huh? <laughs> well, my daughter tells me that every day during lunch, he practices by himself. <laughs> uh, it, it's Flex. Uh, Flex Washington? Flat app? Anyway, I am gonna get the interview because I am the only reporter who knows about it. <laughs> Blaine Lockley. Well, this is Flex Washington. It's a pleasure to see you again. Sticky wicket, this one, eh? So, how do we get to this guy? Well, that's gonna require some wit, some panache, my young Flex. I remember once, uh, bear with me if you've heard this before. Anywho, I, uh, I once posed as a doctor in order to get the scoop on Shaq's toe surgery. Well, so you threw on some scrubs and snooped around a hospital. That's not so tricky. And. I performed an appendectomy. <laughs> Arnez, if you weren't gonna help us decorate for the pep rally, then why did you volunteer? Hmm, band practice or cheerleaders on ladders. <laughs> I'm choosing the ladder. Uh, a little to the left. That's not quite straight, Luis. <laughs> You peeping Tom. Ow! That hurt. You Americans, you have shoulders like the baby. The baby? Yeah, baby. Infant. Kitten. Puppy. Chick. Hey, who are you calling a chick? You, baby. Ow! Hey, who are you calling a baby? You better <clears throat> Yo, <clears throat> shorty. <clears throat> Hoody hoo. <laughs> May I say, Brianna Barnes, you are looking very bootylicious today. <laughs> and you're off the heezy for sheezy. <laughs> what? 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 Well, I would just very much like 
to kick with you. Kick it? What? No, kick it. Kick it. What? What? Okay, how about bye? Bye. I have to get in there somehow. Some the air vents. Sandy, grease me! How do I get in there? Come to the PTA meeting, meet the new president, Flex Washington. Hey, that's me. <laughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me. Flex Washington, PTA president. Surprise gym inspection. Yes, right, we got a bake sale going on next week, so we uh, got bunt cakes coming in, we got muffins, snickerdoodles. <laughs> and we need to check the temperature in the gym to make sure the snickers don't doodle. <laughs> Just stand there. Let me in, Mr. Furley. Come on. Uh, uh, don't be mad. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Here we are. This is where we at with it. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It's okay. PTA. Hey, Zorbo, can you call off your bodyguards, man? They're not my bodyguards. They're my entourage. I must have crew for big pimping. <laughs> Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, I'm Flex Washington, WYNX Sports anchor and host of The Flex Files. Flat app. <laughs> ah, I see you uh, play a little ball, huh? Yeah, me too. Knicks, Clippers. You know, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what you're gonna do after graduation. You know, swoop up. <laughs> street shoes, street shoes. <laughs> in my country, I score 45 points in one game. Barefoot, <laughs> while dodging landmines. Well, speaking of dodging, rumor has it you're thinking about dodging college and going straight to the NBA. Everybody wants to know Zorbo's plans. But you know who knows? Who that? Zorbo knows. Game over. Hey, Daddy. You doing that Zorbo story? I was, but Zorbo's not talking. Yeah, don't feel bad. All he knows how to say is, what? What? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this fine shorty, Brianna Barnes, is your daughter? What? She is beautiful. I just want you to know she's my favorite girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's uh, something special about her. <laughs> Let's make a deal, Flex Washington. You get me date with your daughter, I'll give you exclusive interview. Uh, uh, man, I'm sorry. As, as much as I want that exclusive, that, that's something I, I can't do. In that case, Быстро! Капла! Hey, well, it was a nice move at the high school there, Flex, until you uh, hit that snag. Oh, you, you heard about that, Blaine? Oh, yeah. You, uh, you hear everything from the air vents, except for the cries of a man who's trapped inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's that kind of dedication that got you a nationally syndicated show, champ. Oh, you, uh, you heard about that, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been stalking you for... I've been following your career for years. Wait, you, you going national? How come I'm not going national? Do we have to do this in public, Flex? I, look, look, look. It's not as glamorous as it sounds, Washington. I, uh, I have the burden of having to entertain over 365 cities across the country. You only have to worry about Baltimore, so, uh, who's the lucky one, huh? Actually, uh, actually, I am. I took the liberty of making a few copies of my resume. This one's for you. You're not going anywhere, Hank. You're my producer. I'm going to take you to the top. Because what you don't know is that little snag I hit earlier, yeah, it's, it's, it's sewn. Uh-huh. Yeah, I took it to the tailor, and I had it altered. So all of you, tune in tomorrow night for the hottest show in Baltimore on the Flex Files. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Flex, are you telling me you finally trumped Blaine and got the Zorbo story? Oh, I'm sorry, Blaine. I'm sticking with my man, Flex. I don't know about this, Mr. Flex. Brenna Barnes, she act like she wants me to kick a hole in the speaker, grab the mic, and then jet. Let me guess, you uh, learned how to speak English watching BET? AJN3, number one, get back. Gordy! Gordy! Flex, have you seen Gordy? Who's Gordy, your imaginary friend? No, that's Jordy. 
Gordy is Gordon, the snake. He's missing. Ah! Zorbo Visanisavik. Ah! Uh, uh, Mektela. Uh, uh, Yaku Krepla. Ha ha! That's to mix with. Yeah! Mignon! Mignon! <laughs> You speak his language? Yeah, I used to deliver pizzas for Misha Petrovich's Pizza Palace. Yeah, a little Baltic small talk will get you a big tip. And some Spaggy Bark. Ah. Oh, spaggy Bark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Gordy's on the move. See ya. Look, don't worry. You're gonna have a great time, okay? But no Spaggy Bark. No chocolate? <laughs> no. No chocolate. <laughs> Baby, Brianna, Daddy's home. I got a surprise for you. Oh, a surprise for me? Yeah, what is it? What is up, Brianna Barnes? It is me, Zorbo. Hi, hi, hi. I'm ready to get jiggy with you. Surprise! <laughs> Daddy, kitchen now. Uh, she's just overwhelmed with overwhelmness, all right? She should be all right. We'll be right back. After these messages. Daddy, what is Zorbo doing here? You are pimping me to get a story. I would never do such a thing. Now, put on some lip gloss and go talk to the boy. Daddy, I'm not doing it. Baby, please. You have to do this for Daddy. I need this story. I told the guys I already had it. Now, all you have to do is talk to him. I mean, you talk to your stupid friends today. <laughs> if you do this for me, I promise I'll love you forever. You're my daddy. You're supposed to love me forever. Is that the risk you want to take? <laughs> daddy, you're being ridiculous. <sighs> okay, Brianna, let me paint the picture for you here. <sighs> if I don't get this interview, I lose my job, which means We'll lose our beautiful waterfront condo, <laughs> which means you'll have to wear the same clothes twice. Like spirit. <laughs> okay, I'll do it, Daddy. But I ain't gotta like it. <laughs> so, Brenna Barnes, why not you hot for me? too high profile for me. I have to be the star in all my relationships. You don't have to be star, baby, to be in my show. <laughs> ah, so you still getting along now? <laughs> Zorbo, you got any uh, future plans? I told you, I give you scoop after date. No doubt. Uh, speaking of scoop, why don't we get some ice cream? <laughs> I'll just have to run to the store. Uh, what do you like? Uh, cookie dog. Oh, I like cookie dog, too. Hey, something in common. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And remember, no spacky back. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dad could be a trip sometimes. Well, it's because he has a beautiful daughter. My father is the same way with my sister. And she looks like Bear. <laughs> Or it took care of that nasty mouse, right, baby? <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> yeah, baby. Um, I'd like you to meet my hawk, Ethan. <laughs> He's gonna find the snake that's running loose around my apartment to find the mouse that's also running loose around my apartment. <laughs> Couldn't you just call an exterminator? Well, I told you, baby, that's too girly. This is a man's apartment. It's survival of fittest up in here. <laughs> the mouse has exposed himself. Uh, Gordon is on the flank. The moment of truth is nigh. Attack, Ethan! Attack! <laughs> the circle of life. <laughs> so, what's it gonna be, Zorbo? College or the NBA? Zorbo wants to get paid. I go to NBA! Well, thanks for that exclusive, Zorbo. <laughs> ah, on your face! <laughs> what he said. Hey, what's all this? 
These are my parents. We're here for a wedding. Oh, nice to meet you. But who's getting married? Me and Zorbo. In my country, Mr. Washington, when father makes date for his daughter, it is the same as an engagement. Welcome to family, daddy. Daddy, you have to help me. I don't want to be Mrs. Vish... Vish... Whatever his last name is. I told you once, Brianna Barnes, you call me Big Papa. Hey, 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 now, nobody's getting married up in here. This is all just a silly misunderstanding. Come, we must go, Brianna. Must prepare bridal bed. Daddy! Oh, no, you ain't taking my baby. I will take my belt off. I will... And... Hey, what, what's going on? It's only a joke, Daddy. This is my drama teacher, Mrs. Livingston, and her husband. Sorry to scare you, Daddy, but I owed you one. No, I'm, I'm sorry, baby. I was, I was wrong. I was, I was under a lot of pressure. I mean, you, you know I get a little crazy with competition. And Blaine Lockraven, boy, he'll do anything to get a story. I guess I took a page from his book. The wrong page. <laughs> Daddy, please, let me do the acting here, okay? <laughs> Come on, Zorbo. I'll be home by midnight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where are you and Vladdy Bebop going? We have the date. We're going to party like it's your birthday. Yeah, it turns out Zorbo's a really sweet guy. Plus, he's going to the NBA. <laughs> Holla. <laughs> edition of Lock on Sports USA. Tonight's big story, how far will a sports journalist go to secure an exclusive story with a basketball prodigy? Let's go live for the answer to Baltimore with sportscaster Flex Washington. How am I going to be live when I'm right here? <laughs> and right there. Wait a minute. Greased up and ready to get to the truth, pimp daddy. <laughs> let me hit this. Let me, let me hit this. Ooh, baby, my wine is on low tide. Why don't you walk them legs over to the fridge and get us some more? Hmm, do you really want more wine or do you want to watch mama walk? Oh! And walk, and walk, and walk. Ooh, that's all right. Either way, I'll be intoxicated. I'm a wino <laughs> for your walk. Since I started dating the hottest mama in Baltimore, <laughs> why don't you go and open it up? Oh, oh, go, cheese! Oh, oh, you really do love me. All my girlfriends were so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Another game of pin the vixen on my daddy? Hello? Oh, hi, Tony. Yeah, he right here. Okay, hold on. Daddy, Tony wants to know what you're doing next Friday. Tell Tony I'll catch him later. But she wants to talk to you now. <laughs> yeah, Flex, why don't you talk to her? Him, her, she, why are people so caught up on gender? People are people, people. <laughs> <clears throat> Yo, what up, Tony? Eh, it's a bad time. Eh, forget about it. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I'm gonna bring you your sausage tomorrow. All right, then. Yeah. You know, Flex, you can be honest with me. I mean, we haven't said we're exclusive. If you're seeing other women, just tell me. I won't get mad. Okay, I'm seeing other women. Okay, now I'm mad. I should just throw these shoes out the window, but instead, I'm gonna use them to walk right out of here.
So, Jennifer, I'd like to start with the jalapeno poppers and uh, dinner with you next week. How's Tuesday, Sam? Sounds like a fiesta. Daddy. Oh, my bad. <laughs> For my daughter, I'd like to get her a uh, banana split. She needs some cheering up. Tracy likes banana splits. Listen, I know you shared your first kiss with him, but that was two weeks ago. You gotta move on and roll off, you know? But, Daddy, it just hurts so bad when you like someone so much and he doesn't like you back. <sighs> <laughs> Whose life is better than mine? Do you want me to get the phone book, or should I spare you the pain? <laughs> For the first time in two decades, I have the entire house to myself. I just sent my mom on a world-class vacation. Oh, not Midget Town again. <laughs> no, no, she, she got banned from there. <laughs> the Blackfoot Indian Casino and Petting Zoo. <laughs> yeah, just drop mom off at the bus stop with 20 pounds of nickels and a fistful of goat pellets. <laughs> what are the goats gonna eat? <laughs> Look at that. Ta -da. Ta -da. I'm too depressed to eat. I can't stop thinking about Tracy. Well, I need to celebrate. Let me hit this. <laughs> Can you please try to give your goddaughter some advice? Bree, Bree. <laughs> Sometimes you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince. So when am I going to find my prince? Girl, I don't have a crystal ball. Maybe never. Life ain't fair. <laughs> It's good. Sprinkle just set it off. Rihanna, in a few minutes, I need you and your little friends to go in the back and play. Daddy's got a work meeting. Daddy, are you having women over again? No, just one. Okay, let me finish my letter real quick. In closing, Tracy, I can't stand you, I hate you, and the sight of you makes me sick. Missing you much, Brianna. Girl, you bearing too much of your soul. Yeah, especially for a guy who smells like Cheetos. You know what? You're right. I ain't going out like that. Dear Tracy, I don't want no scrubs. Brianna, you're vulnerable right now. The last thing you need is some brother trying to take advantage of your pain. Bam! Look at here, two tickets to see Lenny Kravitz on Saturday. Me, you, and your broken heart. Flex, I bust my butt as a producer to get you a copy of the Layla Ali tape for your interview, and then somehow it mysteriously ends up in my briefcase. So I gotta come all the way I over here to- I love that top. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I'd hate to send you all the way home on an empty stomach. Wine, cheese, oyster. Flex, how many times do I have to tell you you do not seduce the boss? Me? Try to seduce you? No, oh, I would never do that. Chocolate covered strawberry. <laughs> mm. I know what's going on here, Flex. A little Merlot, a little Gouda. Next thing you know, I'm being paddled on your pool table and everybody at work is calling me Spanky. I don't have a paddle, but I can work wonders with a spatula. Don't mess with me, Flex. I'm on my way to the gun range and I'm packing a Glock. Oh. <laughs> well, hello. Oh. Here I am, unannounced and clearly unexpected. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Aren't we all here? <laughs> Hi, I'm Stacy Flex's producer. Hi, I'm Tanya Flex's. What am I, Flex? Oh, oh very pretty. Very pretty. You the bomb. <laughs> well, we all know that. <laughs> Bam! Ooh, he busting out. Girl, this better than passions. Yeah, maybe it'll turn into a chick fight. But then you let somebody's bra break off. <laughs> Put your tongue back in your mouth, Scooby. My dad's a master. Watch him work. Tanya, a woman as beautiful as yourself has no reason to feel threatened by Stacy, an equally dynamic woman who happens to be my boss, which, by the way, is a line I would never cross. <laughs> Stop it, Flex. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I prefer blessed. <laughs> you have to be born with that power. Tanya, 
You don't have to worry about me. I'm off men, and I won't be back on them until I find one who doesn't talk, doesn't cheat, and won't run away with my ATM card. <laughs> All right, here you, girl. You want to get a drink and talk this out? Yeah, and after we're nice and drunk, let's hit the gun range. Bang, bang! <laughs> oh, hey, Flex, you want to come, too? I sure would. Lick it up, women with guns. Sounds like my Charlie's Angels fantasy. Come on. <laughs> Flat death. <laughs> Hey, baby, what you cooking up? Tracy. Oh, baby, are you sure you want to burn all your memories? Well, Essence Magazine said if a man hurts you, then just burn him out of your life. It's cleansing. Yeah, but if you let it get out of control, it's arson. Dad, I wish I could laugh about this, but I'm not a Mac like you. I love you. think I'm a Mac? <laughs> Not a Mac, the Mac. Like the other day when you got that police woman to drop your speeding ticket. Oh, 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 listen, I just explained that I should give her the ticket that she had fine written all over her. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, Mac, Mac. Oh, hey, now stop it, stop it. I am not a Mac. I just have a Jerry Springer approach to relationship. So you saying I should have hit Tracy over the head with a chair? <laughs> No, no, no. Look, what I'm saying is high passion, low emotion equals lots of mindless fun, and nobody gets hurt. So you mean keep everything up front and there'll be no surprises? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. What did that carrot do to you? Tell me something, Flex. I mean, we've been dating for a while, and it's been fun and all, but what's up? I mean, I am not the kind of girl who just keeps messing around without a commitment, so I need to know. You know, you make a point, but I tell you what, as soon as I know, you'll know. Oh, hi, Daddy. You remember my new boyfriend, Kelton? I should give him a ticket because he's oh so fine. <laughs> Thirty seconds. <laughs> Kelton, can you be a sweetheart and put those heavy books in my room for me? And maybe later you can help me with my homework. You're so smart, because you know I'm a blonde when it comes to chemistry. Well, she's Einstein when it comes to handling boys. Oh, Frappuccino's my favorite. But, honey, you're so hot, you melted all the frap. All we have is Chino. So just cool them off in the fridge for me, okay? Thank you, Rodney Pooh. Oh, Kelton. Honey, bad news. My daddy put me on punishment. Daddy, you're so strict. Bye, Kelton. <laughs> Aren't you gonna do something about this? Oh, it's all right. She's just getting a little baby Mac on. Besides, I think it's cute. There is nothing cute about it. This is good for her. She'll get over that Tracy boy. Who was that guy? Uh, that's my cousin. <laughs> and who's he? My second cousin, twice removed. In Alabama, we'd be kissing cousins. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I returned your books at the library, and I even paid those late fees, so uh, you owe me $10. <laughs> 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 okay, we're even. Look, honey, I need one more thing from you. I'm in the mood for a blue Slurpee, the big one. Uh, I could pick it up for you, but I spent all my money at the library. <laughs> my mom's asleep, her purse is open. I'll work it out. She's no longer a baby Mac, now she's a dogette. Uh, Brianna, the boy in the kitchen? Oh, Rodney, baby, I'm sorry. Come here. Her call me up. Well, you know what? Can you just be a hottie and get me my biscotti? Thank you. <laughs> Finally alone. I'm about to get some rest for my next shift. Ciao, Daddy. Uh, 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 come here, come here. Brianna, you just macked Arnez. He's one of your best friends. Well, maybe if Arnez had a little more game, he wouldn't have got played. Remember, high passion plus low emotion equals mindless fun. <laughs> what idiot said that? <laughs> Thanks for meeting me down here, pal. Look, between the two of us, I know we can straighten Brianna out. Oh, son, it can't be that bad. Um, now you should have seen her the other day. It was like she was the Pied Piper and all the little rats were carrying frappuccinos. <laughs> well, you know, you and I come from a long line of Casanovas. 
Never known it to affect the female side of the family, except for your Aunt Bertha, who used to be your Uncle Joe. <laughs> anyway, the other day, Brianna accused me of being a Mac. No, 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 you're not a Mac. A Mac is a manipulator of women. That's not you at all. My partner. Thank you, Dwayne. You a dog. <laughs> Feelings be damned, breaking hearts all over town. <laughs> Well, you know, I've always considered myself to be a player, a connoisseur of the gentler sex. <laughs> See me? I don't like to limit myself to one category. I like to think I'm a triple threat. Player, Mac, and dog. Sort of a play mom. Oh, hi, Daddy. Hey, sweetie. What are all these kids doing here? Daddy, what's a girl without her entourage? A loser. But anyway, Daddy, can I run a tab for me and my friends? We're a little parched. Uh, sure, sweetie. Anything you want. Come on. What in the world am I doing? She just macked me. Somebody better call a doctor, because I'm about to wrap you all around my finger. Damn. That girl is smooth. Oh, the front row sister Lenny Kravitz. You can be my boyfriend, but only for tonight, okay? Brianna, I thought we were going to the concert. See, we all gonna be there. I'm gonna just be in the front. I'll wave to you, okay, sweetie? So that's how you're gonna play me? I thought you were my friend. Brianna, I think you hurt his feelings. He's young. He'll bounce back. I did. I don't believe this. She's turning into someone I don't know. Oh, no, son. Just look at her. She's turning into you. Before she can change, you have to change. <laughs> Let it. <laughs> yeah, she's got you down with the flat out. Welcome back to the Flex Files. We're here with middleweight boxer Layla Ali. That's undefeated boxer, and I'm pretty. <laughs> right. You think your dad Muhammad is watching? Rumble, young man Rumble. Ah! <laughs> What's up, champ? <laughs> so, uh, you're married now? Happily married. Oh, guess I slept on that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Layla and I are old friends. We went on one date. <laughs> uh, yeah, but after that one date, you went pro, and I'd like to think I had something to do with that. You did. I saw your face on everybody I stepped into the ring with. <laughs> You're a dog. You took me on a carriage ride in Central Park and then ran off with an ice skater. I had to ride a horse home. <laughs> you know, Layla, you just hit home. I'm afraid to admit it, but you're right. I was a dog, running loose, running wild, lifting my leg on every woman in Baltimore, so to speak. <laughs> Ladies, I'm sorry. And for those of you who want to follow in my footsteps, including my daughter, do as I say, not as I do. This is Flex Washington. Flat at. And cut! What the hell was that all about, Flex? I was trying to give a more sensitive side to sports. Oh, isn't that special? Look, cry on your own damn time, boy. This ain't Oprah. This is a legitimate newscast. Do you understand? But for the record, I was moved. OK, Davey, I would love to roll with you, but I'm busy that evening. Oh, really? A party at Cisco's? OK, let me move some things around. Brianna, where did you get that cell phone? Oh, from Eddie or Eric or Emmett? I don't know, somebody with an E. <laughs> Hello? Who? Oh, Elvin. Elvin, baby, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I was just talking about you. Brianna, didn't you watch my interview? Oh, yeah, that sensitive dialogue was smooth. I'm about to parlay that into my rapper right now. <laughs> See, that's the consequence for being a player. It's like a hereditary disease passed on from generation to generation. You know what? I've been thinking. It's time to make a change. This situation isn't working for me. Uh oh, 
Wait a minute, hold up. Are you dumping me? Because let me tell you something, Tanya doesn't get dumped. Tanya does the dumping, okay? Tanya, I'm not dumping you, okay? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, finish what you were saying, baby. <laughs> but when Rihanna's mother ended our marriage, I was hurt, and I vowed that I would never let another woman break my heart again. So I macked my way across the eastern seaboard. But now I'm a full-time dad, and my daughter's watching. And I'm not sure I like what she sees. Well, what are you saying, Flex? Yeah. Well, what are you saying, Daddy? Sweetie, I'm saying it. I don't want you to end up like me. But, Daddy, you have a great life. But I've heard some people along the way, just like you're doing your friend Arnaz. But Tracy was my friend, and he hurt me. Sweetie, do you really want Arnaz to feel what you're feeling? I gotta go. Thanks, Daddy. Baltimore woman! Stay away from me! Baltimore woman! I'm popping 203! Pick myself up off the floor! I wanna see your face no more! Now, woman! Uh, uh. I'm in apartment 8. You ruined our friendship? Now you're ruining my song! Is it too late for us to still be friends? I don't know. The artist is in a lot of pain right now. I know that pain. Sometimes it cuts so deep, it ends up hurting someone you never meant to hurt. Now, is this my friend Brianna or the Mac Brianna? The Mac Brianna is dead. But before she died, she managed to snag this for you at the concert. Lenny's guitar pick. From the master himself? I will cherish you forever. So are we cool? Man, your hair smells good. Uh, Arnaz, friends. Yeah, right. Friends. By the way, pal, you owe me 50 bucks for the concert ticket. Can we just forget about that? Nope. <laughs> Friends. You know what I was thinking? It's time to take this relationship to the next level. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, my God, you are proposing to me? Okay, where is my ring? Where is my ring? Okay, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I'm ready. <laughs> Tanya, sweetie, I'm not proposing to you. <laughs> oh. Well, go ahead and finish what you were saying, baby. <laughs> baby, look, by next level, I mean just seeing you. That's a big step for me. Oh, that is so sweet. But isn't there some kind of ring that goes along with that? <laughs>